What's that you're pouring out? It's for Eifried's memorial. Captain, this is some good booze the first mate's been hiding away. 
Drink up! It's all yours! Ha! I'll never forget you, Captain. And I'll never forget that 500 gold I loaned to you, either. And I'll always remember how hard your fists were. <laughs> That's just because you screwed up all the time, Benwick. I always meant to hit him back one day, but now I'll never have the chance. It's so unfair! Oh, shut up. It'd be a hundred years before you'd be able to knock him out. Not even Von Eifried would wait that long for you. Hey, I could have managed it in 50. <laughs> <laughs> well, this turned out to be a pretty lively memorial. To death, we are as equals. It comes to us all. There's no reason to treat it as something special. Exactly. And besides, we're all pirates here. Wherever we sail, death is always lurking beneath the waves. You're all prepared for it. Of course we are. Aizen, would you mind if I said a prayer for Eifried? You would? He's the most terrible villain in a hundred years. That's true, but I just... What if you prayed for Aizen's friends instead? I don't think there'd be a problem with that. Okay. Is it alright if I pray for your friends instead, Aizen? I'm not stopping you. Captain, I was more enriched by the days I spent sailing with you than the centuries I roamed in search of something to end my curse. Thanks for the fun, Eifried. That's three Nordals collected, and one to go. Right. Usually that turtle shows up right about now. What gives? Turtles, loiters, embroiders? You mean, the turtles is late because he's taking too much time getting a new design for his robe? I knew you could follow along, my dear little oyster. Should we wait for him a bit longer? I'm sure your sister's reply has to be arriving soon. I don't write her those letters expecting to get a reply. They're more like an apology for not coming home to see her. But you can't go home because of the Reaper's curse, right? So why do you need to send letters and gifts? Soon after I left, my sister wrote me a letter. She said, I don't care if it's dangerous. I want to be with you. Maybe the old me, once I realized there was no fixing this curse, would have gone home prepared to do everything in my power to protect her. But I'm not the old me. Haven't been since I met Eifried and his crew. I understand. You found your place on that ship. Even if you lifted the curse, you wouldn't move back home. Do you think your sister knows that? I haven't told her directly, but I'm sure she's realized it. She's smart, and she's empathetic. That's why she never sends me a reply. You mean because she respects that you've chosen your way of life? That's probably how she sees it, yes. But understanding does not preclude loneliness. I think she doesn't reply as a way of showing that she disapproves. And you keep on sending those letters by way of atonement. I don't think it's anything so noble as that, but sure. You're probably not too far off the mark. A brother writing letters knowing he'll never get a reply. And a sister waiting for a brother she knows will never come home. You two make it so damn complicated. Just talk it out face to face and make up already. It's not that hard. Mm. At least the person you care about is still alive. Velvet. 
Are we done here? Let's go. Scout! Always ready to fight. Both the opening and the advent began here. This is where the me before I was born died. And it's where Lord Artorius sacrificed Velvet's brother. Hmm. 
The former leader of the Exorcists and Melchior searched high and low for the resting place of Inominat, the nameless Empyrean. No wonder they never found it. Who'd have thought he'd be sealed away out here in the middle of nowhere? And these patterns. They're similar to those I've seen in foreign temples, built during the Era of Darkness. That's some good camouflage. I doubt Artorius realized the true purpose of this shrine until he witnessed Inominat's power firsthand. Maybe. Hey. Can we seal Inominat back in here? No, we can't. I can't detect even a trace of the original seal's art. Me neither. But I can tell you this is the Earth Pulse point. Well, well. If a cat's already out of the bag, it won't go back in. Believe me, I've tried. Even if there was a way to seal him here again, I wouldn't do it. I want to settle things with Inominat my way. We will need to be extremely wary. Blade of Heaven's will pierce my enemies! Ready to feel the burn?
Right, you've got my support. Next weekend is Bunny Bonanza Saturday. Bunny Bonanza Saturday? What's that? I've heard of this. You eat a hearty, healthy meal of rabbit meat to help you get nice and strong. You eat rabbits? No, silly. The night of the third Saturday of every month, lonely people go to sleep hugging a rabbit. Huh. If you go to sleep with a fuzzy friend in your arms, you're sure to have good dreams. No, well, I'm sure I heard that you eat them, too. You must be thinking of Rat Pig Roundup Saturday. There's a Saturday for Rat Pigs, too? Yep. On the night of the third Saturday of every month, people who aren't lonely eat Rat Pigs to get nice and strong. Makes sense. Rat Pigs are great sources of nutrition. An amazing choice for anyone, lonely or not. The secret to a happy family is Rat Pig Roundup Saturday. That's what I always say. <laughs> I feel bad for the Rat Pigs. We can do this. Make a slash drop. Got you. Got you. Take that. Devour. Vanishing thunder. Break boom. Well, this works. Into the sun. You're my cyclo. Heaven's out! Third 
Oh, good. It seems you're both still here inside me, then. It is not as though we desired these circumstances. We're only here because you ate us. I'll make no apologies. You wish to sacrifice us to the four elemental Empyreans, is that it? Yes. I won't apologize for that, either. It matters not. Your sins are nothing a mere apology could ever absolve. I know. At least you're aware of how selfish you are. Good for you, then. Remember this well, Lord of Calamity. No matter how many times I am reborn, I will act the same. As will I. And I as well. Did you say something? Just dreaming is all. But I know now how deep my sins run. Velvet, there's something I've wanted to talk to you about. It's... it's about the Therians. And about Lafayette. Let me guess. The link between us and Inominat. 
Yes. There's no way of knowing what will happen until we actually try, but... You don't have to worry about me. I said it before. Best just to blame all the wickedness of the world on the Lord of Calamity. Don't you try to shoulder all of this yourself! We exorcists are just as much at fault for letting things come to this. So let me ponder what to do about Kamoana and the rest. But you need to think about Lafayette. There, I've said my piece. I don't know which of us is more stubborn. Still, I've got to face the truth. I've got to tell him. Good. This place hasn't been suppressed yet. We're unloading. Give me a hand, will ya? Hey, you listening? Sorry. Something just feels weird. Like there's something tugging at my thoughts. Yeah, I've been hearing a lot of that lately. But pull yourself together. Yeesh! Yet, being the operative term here. We'd better get a move on. Benwick, don't leave Kamoana or Medissa's domain, got it? The Therians are part of Inominat. They should be able to resist suppression to some extent. Aye, aye. You watch yourself too, first mate. Mount Killerhouse is at the northern edge of Northgand. Bit of a trek. It'd be nice if we could resupply along the way. There's a town, Mercio, near the foot of the volcano. It faces the sea, but the currents lately have been too strong to approach it by water. However, the land route should still be clear. The whole continent has been getting colder of late, not just Northgand. Colder? Could it have something to do with Enominot? Or maybe it's because the elemental Empyreans are asleep. Both sound possible. But think too hard about the cold, and it'll give you the shivers. Yeah, but even so... Whatever the case, our course remains the same. We'll head to Mercio and work from there. My son came home from the capital and said he'd take over the family fishing business. That was always my dream. But is it really best for the world? For him to waste his talents on such a primitive activity? Dad, what are you saying? I thought we talked about this. You should use your education to help the country and people all across the world. That is the way of reason. That guy is acting really oddly. Wait, we talked about this? Yeah. You agreed that I should use my knowledge to advance fishing technology and stabilize the world's food supply, remember? Oh, yes, that's right. Shape up, Dad. What's the problem? Drinking too much? Just a nightcap before bed. If you need some rest, I'll take the boat out myself today. <laughs> That'd be the day. Like I'd put you in charge. You're not ready to take the boat out by yourself. An ill-fated fisherman's fortune. His memories are muddied. But is it divine will that dulls his wits, or drink? A sailor who can't handle his drink is just as shameful as one who gets seasick. gets colder. The long-armed crab's habitat expands. Do your best out there today! 
If the crabs breed too quickly, it will affect the fish. Hey, that guy is... Daddy? You're acting weird. Oh, sorry about that. My mind just wandered away from me there for a second. If you do that on your boat, you'll fall into the sea. Yeah, that's right. I'll be careful. Good luck out there! That boy's father, he was acting strangely. The suppression is starting to affect people out here, too. sinner and repent your wicked deeds yes father i am here uh, no no i wasn't talking to you surely an exorcist has nothing to repent truly the sinners are those people you're with who come into this cathedral and say whatever they please no father i've done a great many things that i regret for instance i once put blind unquestioning faith in the abbey's ideals of reason and justice in making any decision I used not my head, or my gut, or my heart, but instead relied on the Abbey's answers. Ah. I lorded my authority over those I thought to be below me, when I didn't even know the truth of how things actually worked. What? I was telling other people how to live their lives, when I needed to look at my own flaws instead. Ah. But I won't repent for my past deeds. To seek forgiveness from the Empyreans would be to repeat those very same mistakes. I will follow my own judgment now, as I strive to make amends for the misdeeds and regrets of my past. Please, Lady Exorcist, listen to my confession, for I have much to repent. Huh? Father, why are you crying? Did you hear that Moloch they were doing experiments on finally broke? Yeah. You mean the one where they were trying to combine multiple smaller Malachim into one giant Moloch? I always figured it was a waste of time. Turns out it not only looked like a freak, but its shackled mind snapped, leaving the thing feral. Huh? Guess they'll have to dispose of it. Yeah. For now, they've moved it out to the Faldi's ruins. They're repurposing it as a test target for a new Moloch art and development. At least we'll be able to get some valuable data out of it. Using Malachim for their own ends. Is there no line they won't cross? I hope you're not thinking of doing anything unnecessary. Oh? Like what? Like thinking about bringing mercy to a broken Moloch. What I think is necessary and what actions I take are for me to decide. Aizen! That exorcist said they were using the Moloch to get data on a new Moloch art. If it were complete, they could use it against us. Stopping that wouldn't be a waste of our time, would it? You think you know just what to say to me, don't you? I'm just stating the truth. Just so we're clear, we're not going to rescue it. No argument here. Scout ch-